Hello, I'm Lucinda from Acuity Training. How do you create columns for something like a newsletter in Word 2007 or 2010? I'm here to show you how. First of all, let's open up a document to work on. And I've got one just here. So this document has, as you can see, got no columns on there currently. And I'm now going to show you very easily how we can apply columns to this document. If you want the columns to be applied to the entire document, we would select the entire document first. And to do that, I'm going to bring my cursor over to my selection panel on the left hand side of the document. And I'm actually going to do a triple click. One, two, three. And this selects, as you can see, the entire document that I'm going to be using. And that would select 20, 30, 40, 50 pages. To put this document into columns, columns are held in the page layout ribbon and they are in the page setup group, as we can see here, they're just there like columns. If I give that a click, I can actually now very easily point to maybe a two column option to give my documents two columns. Let's have a look at that. So I've now got two columns in my document, as you can see. To clear that again, to bring it back to one column, I triple click, one, two, three, come up to columns and click on one. So that's very simple how to apply an instantaneous two column to my document there. Let's get a bit more specific. If I again triple click my document, go to columns, I can get more detail if I need to by coming down to the option more columns. If I give that option a click, I'm brought into my columns dialog box. And in here, we've got the basic options along the top again, but underneath, we've got the ability to change to, let's say, four columns just by spinning the box up. We can see the width of column there that we can change and the spacing between the columns that we can change. They're all equal currently, as we can see here. To make them unequal and specify the individual column measurements, we can turn off equal column width at the bottom. Click on OK and our document now has four columns, which as you can see for this document isn't quite right. Let's turn it back to two columns again. If we want to break the text in a column, we can also do that. So if I just click away, if I click next to several species have also been developed just here, to create a space here and move this text onto the next page, I can do that just by putting in what we call a column break. Let's just see how to do that. If we come up to the page layout ribbon again, page setup group, and breaks, we've actually got something called a column break just here. If I give it a click, it will break that column, as you can see. As I said, that will create space here coming down. That text has now been moved onto the second page into the first column of the second page, and it's moved the text through that page. To balance the column text out, we can also do this. If we click at the end of the final column and come up to breaks and we would use something called a continuous section break to balance the columns out. If I give that a click, as you can see, there's my first page and my second page now has the columns balanced. I don't really like this bullet point at the end, so I'm just going to click on home and turn off that bullet point. That is how to create columns in Word 2007 and 2010. Thank you for listening.